Dr. Sante Sanket Deshmukh. He is talking on outcome of lensectomy in eyes with spherophakia and secondary glaucoma. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as we all know, spherophakia is a rare entity and uh, it is a bilateral condition and it is caused by uh, abnormally lax zonules which uh, lead to a spherically shaped small crystalline lens and it is characterized by the triad of angle closure glaucoma, shallow anterior chamber, and refractive myopia in young patients. Spherophakia, the more in, uh, in spherophakia, most common cause of permanent vision loss is angle closure glaucoma, and uh, whenever there is high IOP associated with this condition, it can be treated by doing only lensectomy or by doing lens extraction along with the glaucoma surgery. But there is a lack of literature uh, and the lack of consensus for this. That's why we went ahead with our study and found out what was going on with our patients. And we found out uh, uh, in last 25 years, cons uh, all the consecutive patients with spherophakia and secondary glaucoma who underwent uh, pasplenal lensectomy or extraction through limbal root uh, were studied. And we excluded all the patients who underwent prior filtering surgery or combined glaucoma filtering surgery with lensectomy or if they uh, uh, received a SFIL or a glued IL, these patients were excluded from the study. Uh, according to the definition, in this study, glaucoma was uh, defined as IOP greater than or equal to 22 millimeters of mercury or IOP less than this level, but the patient was on AGM and presence of glaucomatous optic uh, disc damage. Complete success was defined uh, as, uh, as mentioned here. Also, we uh, categorized patient into qualified success and uh, failure was defined as patients having higher IOP than 21 millimeters of mercury or patients requiring oral acetazolamide or any complication resulting in the loss of light perception. Coming to the results, we found out that the post lensectomy, the visual acuity improved significantly in these patients. Also, intraocular pressure came down from 26 millimeters of mercury, which was a median in the preoperative group, reduced significantly to 14 millimeters of mercury. Also, this patient uh, needed a significantly less number of anticlopal medications post lensectomy. Uh, we also uh, tried to find out what are the risk factors uh, for uh, predicting the need of uh, anticlopal medications or uh, glaucoma surgery post lensectomy and from this analysis, we found out that younger age had a high risk of post-operative elevated IOP compared to with the age older than six years. Also, patients with IOP greater than 32 millimeters of mercury at presentations were at higher risk. And uh, higher cup to disc ratio initially at presentation and higher number of preoperative medication were also associated with uh, failure post-lensectomy. The cumulative complete success probability of lensectomy in eyes with spherophakia and glaucoma by kaplan meier analysis was 71% at the three months. So uh, the drop was noted in the first three months in these patients, and it remained at 69% at one year and 50.9% uh, at five years of follow-up. The cumulative qualified success probability was 100% at one year of follow-up, which was maintained for the next three years. So coming to the discussion, glaucoma was diagnosed in 51% of the eyes at presentation in the previous studies. And uh, 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 lens position abnormality plays a significant role in this patient which causes uh, angle closure glaucoma. That's why uh, going ahead only with a lensectomy is a uh, uh, very valuable uh, surgical option for this patient and only 7.7% of the eyes which uh, underwent only lensectomy needed glaucoma surgery for IOP control in previous studies. Also there are other studies which uh, comment a similar uh, uh, thing and they found out that only lensectomy controlled the pressure for 4 to 6 months. In various studies by Ligby Vishad, Kaushik et al and Dougie Walton, they found similar uh, in their short follow up period. Uh, but there are conflicting results where uh, uh, in one of the studies by Dr. Murli Dar et al, lensectomy alone was ineffective in these patients where four of the patients who underwent lensectomy, all of them needed a second uh, surgical intervention for glaucoma. And, uh, but these were refractive cases and what was the reason behind this was not noted here. In our study also there was tra transient complication noted 
uh, and three of the eyes had correlate detachment which resolved after medical treatment and one eye had sight threatening complication uh, of retinal detachment. So uh, limitation uh, was, uh, it was a retrospective design and uh, in our study, as it was a retrospective study, incomplete data on gonioscopy was there uh, for up to 40% of the eyes. In conclusion, uh, if lensectomy alone can control IOP in spherophagic eyes and uh, with glaucoma and lens position abnormality, trabeculectomy, which is associated with serious complications such as shallow and flat AC in these eyes, uh, we can avoid doing trabeculectomies and go ahead only with lensectomy, which can give better results. In our series after lensectomy, half of the eyes had well-controlled IOP and uh, other uh, patients like uh, next 40% patient patients had uh, IOP control with AGM and uh, sight threatening complication was noted only in one eye. So based on these results, in spherophagic eyes with subluxated or dislocated lenses and elevated IOP, we recommended lensectomy as the procedure of choice. Younger children with IOP greater than 32 millimeters of mercury with higher cup and disc ratio, they are at a higher risk and they should be counseled preoperatively for the same. And close follow-up in the post-operative period is required, especially within the first three months where we noted the uh, failure rate which was high. And the role of early lensectomy in prophylaxis, again angle closure glaucoma in these eyes would also need to be evaluated. What method of uh, visual rehabilitation was done for these patients? Did you put an eye oil or was it uh, contact lenses or glasses? You, you left them a fake -ic? Because these were almost all of these patients were uh, bilateral cases yeah. and we gave a fake -ic glasses initially. So none of them had eye oils, it was left a fake -ic. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. 